Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Physics and Animation. Today we are back with a new video of the series of electromagnetic induction. So in this video, we are going to study one of the most interesting topic in electromagnetic induction, that is eddy current. So let's begin. So far, we have studied the electric currents induced in a well-defined path, like circular path. But what? If magnetic flux will change through a conducting plate in which there is not a well-defined path for induced current to flow. So to understand it, let's take a bulk piece of metallic plate and a bar magnet with their magnetic field line directed from north pole to south pole. Now when we move bar magnet, magnetic flux passing through the conducting plate changes. As this time, here it is not a closed loop, therefore charges present in the conducting plate starts flowing in a circular loop like a swelling eddies in water. And these currents are called eddy current. You may ask a question that why does it flows in a circular pattern only, not in any other type of pattern? Answer is, among all shape with same area, a circle has the shortest perimeter. And we know that resistance R is equals to resistivity rho into L that is length of a conducting path over area of cross section A. From this formula, we can conclude that resistance R is directly proportional to length of a path from which current is flowing. And therefore, charge carriers including electrons takes the path of least resistance. That's why they are flowing in a circular pattern instead of any other pattern. Ok, now let's talk about the direction of eddy current. Direction of eddy current induced will be according to Lenz law. According to Lenz law, direction of induced current will be in such a way so that it could create opposition to the cause due to which change of magnetic flux is taking place. So when we move north pole of a bar magnet towards the conducting plate, magnetic flux passing through the conducting plate changes. Now to oppose motion of a magnet, charges present in the plate starts flowing in an anti-clockwise direction. As we know that, site from which current appears to be flowing in an anti-clockwise direction acts as a north pole. In this way, eddy current produces force of repulsion and oppose motion of a magnet due to which change of magnetic flux is taking place. Similar thing happens when we move bar magnet away from the plate. Due to motion of a magnet, magnetic flux passing through the conducting plate changes. Now to oppose change in magnetic flux, eddy current starts flowing in a clockwise direction. Hence it starts acting like a south pole to attract and oppose magnet moving away from the conducting plate. Please note that according to Lenz law, opposing force will induce only if there is a relative motion between magnet and conducting plate. Thanks for watching friends. That's all for this video. In the next video, we will talk about properties of eddy current and their applications.